We always have that, so many people have that, you know, great American dream of writing a novel. I have, I think I have a good one in there, uh, but in, in my brain, I should say. But we have an author today, started as a high school English teacher. Christine Huner started by writing a lot of short stories. They became longer stories. And now 54 Holly Lane is her first big foray into getting books published and whatnot. We say good morning to you. Good morning. Nice Matt. to have you here. Now we're gonna Thank you. we're gonna talk about a little hook at the end of this interview. But let's let's talk about the first, the book first. Uh, how hard is it when you, when you said okay said to yourself okay I'm gonna write a book I'm gonna do it. Um, there's a difference between saying I, I think I've got an idea and and doing it. What what was the motivation? The motivation was I do a lot of reading mm -hmm. and a lot of writing, some somewhat about real life and somewhat about just things that come from my imagination. Mm -hmm. And I don't always set out to do like point A to point B. I'll right. write scenes all over the place. Uh -huh. So that provides an ability yes, to just get the ideas mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. as opposed to just sitting there, oh, where do I go next? Right. Was it hard? I mean, when you when you have to commit to this, and you know you're, you've got you got to come up with a couple hundred uh, hundred pages, excuse me, and you got to you know obviously get them get them written and rewritten and edited and re-edited. Frustrating. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah, but the characters I have heard this from other author, authors, and I think it's true uh -huh. that once you get into a character, they have a life of their own. Yeah. And you start to develop other scenes uh -huh. with other characters. And the plot tends to move, and all of a uh -huh. sudden, the pages are going. 54 Holly Lane uh, takes uh, an issue that a lot of families are dealing with right now about taking uh, different multi-generational families and putting them all in the same home. Tell us mm -hmm. about the book. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, it's about a couple who is taking care of their aging parents mm -hmm. and also their teenagers. Mm -hmm. And um, it deals with you know, the struggles that can happen sure, with that, sure. even just the minor annoyances that mm -hmm. happen with that. Mm -hmm. And then also in the novel, it pushes at it a little, what happens mm -hmm. when there's a crisis? Yeah. What do we do then? So clearly, I, I don't want to say ripped from the headlines, but again, this is something that a lot of families, uh, I don't want to say, not struggling per se, but really trying to make ends meet and, and sometimes it means bringing extra family members in. Exactly. So absolutely. Uh, you've said, you've got, we were talking before the break, You've got other books in you, um, but this is the first one that you, the first one you've birthed as it is. Right. Uh, now that you got one out, is it easier to come out with more? Yes. Yeah. For okay. sure. And I read a lot. Uh -huh. And the reading really brings ideas, mm -hmm. it brings knowledge of craft. Right. Um, and okay. so that, I think, sometimes I, that, that's the fear. Yeah. There's nothing left in me. Right. Right. But then I'll get an idea for something. I'll uh -huh. do some research sometimes. Right. I have a writing group I work with. Uh -huh. So I bounce ideas off of them. Fantastic. Yeah. All right. So, so get support. And, support. and commit and read a lot. That's mm -hmm. what I'm taking away from this. All right. Now, mm -hmm. now let's talk about that hook I was talking about. What was, so Christine and I, we actually know each other. What was the last time we saw each other? 30 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> so Christine and I went to high school together and we reconnected a number of years ago on the old social media. So I'm going to give you the floor right now. Uh, how have I changed in 30 years? Go ahead. Oh, Go Matt. Ahead. You changed. He was, well, Matt was always a little goofy, but a little? Matt has always, that hasn't been, changed. <laughs> always been brilliant. We were in journalism class together. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, we were, we've always wanted to be writers sure. and loved the written work. Word, uh -huh. And um, you went the broadcast way, right? Went and more and the, you the went way. you went the smart cerebral way. <laughs> I just still do the goofy jokes. That has not changed. Right. We reconnected last night, and so it the whole the whole dinner was just like, okay, let's see what's going on here in our lives. It was fantastic. Uh -huh. So it's wonderful to see you again. You let's too. not wait thirty more years. No. Although I'm sure the next book will come sooner than that. We'll have you back. Thank you, Wonderful. Christine Huner, because she was Serato when I knew her.